talk to most people around the world today, they have an automatic program that protein equals meat. And when you say protein, immediately people will get an image of either steak or a chicken breast or some fish or eggs. That's an outdated program. Protein equals meat is not a complete or true equation. Protein is a lot more than that. And in fact, there are many other sources that are much better for you when it comes to protein and you find those in the plant kingdom. What is protein, really? It's not an animal and it's not a thing. It's not a, you know, it's a sequence of amino acids. What is that? Molecules. When we talk about food, we're really talking about cellular nutrition, right? So you really have to have x-ray vision. With food, as with everything else, when you first meet someone, you have a first impression of who that person is, but you need to dig deeper, you need to have a conversation, you need to hang out, etc., to get to know the mind, the emotions, the spirit. Food is no different. Food has a taste and a smell and a texture. You have to dig deeper than that, and you have to look at what food really is. Molecules that are interacting with your own body molecules and biochemistry. America is eating too much protein. The human body does not need that much protein. What you need is quality protein. When it comes to food, and in this case particularly protein, we need to change our minds about what quality actually means. High quality protein means easy to digest, to absorb, and to excrete. Today's mind upgrade is the plant kingdom offers the highest quality protein for the human body. When you eat uh, an animal protein, you have um, you have to usually cook it. And what you what you're really doing is you're diminishing the amount of protein that you're able to absorb in the body as well. What good does it do to have complete protein to eat to ingest? when you can't absorb all of it. The options just open up when you go into the plant kingdom. We are talking a variety of whole grains, nuts, seeds, vegetables galore, plus a whole bunch of benefits, an entire backpack of goodness for you. Plants have personality. You know, it's, it's like you're looking at a plant and it doesn't just come with the protein, it comes with tons of various vitamins, different minerals, other phytonutrients, fiber to keep you slim, as opposed to this dense flesh that is just kind of sometimes stays even stuck in, in our intestines, you know, hence sometimes the men pregnancy. When it comes to sources of protein in the plant kingdom, we're really talking about diversity. Great sources of protein, all dark leaves, leaves, Yes, a salad has protein, especially the dark leaves and romaine lettuce. You're thinking lettuce and you're thinking iceberg lettuce, but for us, salads are really, you know, spinach and kale and arugula and romaine, all of these really amazing sources of high quality, very absorbable protein. Quinoa is a, uh, people think it's, it's a whole grain, but it's actually a seed. Anyways, it's complete protein. Bee pollen has all the amino acids and it actually tastes good. If you have a really good source of uh, bee pollen, you can get uh, you know, maybe a teaspoon and just eat it like candy. Rice and beans together are a complete protein. You pair up a grain, which has one set of amino acids, with a legume or a bean, which has a different set of amino acids, which happens to be complementary to the grain, and bam, you have complete protein. Plants have the ability to store energy from the sun. Photon energy, high frequency energy, okay? You're eating that as well. If you want to transform your body, you need to upgrade your mind when it comes to the idea of protein. We don't need as much, we need a variety, we need high quality. The highest quality protein for the human body is found in the plant kingdom. Bottom line. You just been mind upgraded. Love Sylvia Muriel TV? Spread the health. Tell your friends to sign up at sylviamuriel.com.